Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Mark Judge breaks silence in huge way, tees up allegations, hits home run. The Kavanaugh spectacle yesterday made me furious. To see a good, brilliant man like Kavanaugh dragged through the political muck like he was yesterday is simply disgusting. What you saw yesterday was a permanent fracture in Congress between the left and the right. Game on. A key witness is now coming forward just hours before the vote on Kavanaugh takes place and he is a game-changing statement. It literally changes everything at play here. Mark Judge, Kavanaugh's old high school friend, penned a letter yesterday that says he does not recall the events described by Dr. Christine Blasey Ford during her testimony in front of the Senate Judiciary Committee. I have no doubt of that because I personally don't believe they ever happened. I think this is an actual conspiracy cooked up by the left at the 11th hour to stop Kavanaugh and get back at Trump. I never saw Brett act in the manner Dr. Ford describes, Judge wrote. Neither did anyone else it would seem. There's no tangible evidence that any of this ever happened and it used to be in this country that you had to prove your case. It was innocent until proven guilty. What happened to that premise? As Mark Judge wrote that letter he knew it was under penalty of a felony. He sent it to the chairman of the Judiciary Committee Chuck Grassley and ranking member Diane Feinstein, through his attorney Barbara Van Gelder. I did not ask to be involved in this matter nor did anyone ask me to be involved, the letter said, and referred to his previous letter sent on September 18. Judge didn't want to be involved, but he also could not in good conscience just stand by and watch an honorable man like Brett Kavanaugh be destroyed by the left like this. The letter was released hours before members of the Judiciary Committee are set to vote on Kavanaugh's nomination. The actual vote is expected to take place at about 10.30 a.m. ET. A successful committee vote is not essential to send a nomination to the floor. Judge's lawyer, Barbara Van Gelder, stated on Thursday that he does not want to comment about these events publicly and will not respond to any media inquiries. Judge is willing to answer written questions, and he has. In addition, he is willing to participate in a confidential, fact-finding investigation. Understandably. He does not want to expose himself and his family to harassment and interrogation over this. As a recovering alcoholic and a cancer survivor, I have struggled with depression and anxiety, Judge's letter said. As a result, I avoid public speaking. His attorney says that Judge needs to stay out of the spotlight for his health. I told him to leave town. He is being hounded. He is a recovering alcoholic and is under unbelievable stress, Judge's attorney told the media. He needed for his own health to get out of this toxic environment and take care of himself. Judge did make it clear in his letter that though he and Kavanaugh were friends in high school, they have not seen or spoken to each other directly in years. They obviously went their separate ways to lead their lives. Now, they find themselves thrown together over a concocted scandal that is devastating everyone it touches. From Fox News Ford claimed Kavanaugh pinned her to a bed during a party in Maryland attempted to remove her clothes and put his hand over her mouth to prevent her from screaming. She said he and Judge had also turned the music up to a loud volume. Ford claimed she was able to escape to a bathroom and then outside of the house when Judge jumped into the fray and sent everyone in the room tumbling. Senator Patrick Leahy, Democrat Vermont, asked Kavanaugh during the hearing if he was one of the characters, Bardo Kavanaugh, in Judge's book called Wasted, Tales of a Gen X Drunk, which was written in 1997. Kavanaugh said the book is a work of fiction and Lee he would have to ask him, Judge. Judge has become an author, filmmaker, and journalist who has written for conservative outlets including The Daily Caller and The Weekly Standard, according to reports. This will now hinge on several key swing vote senators who remained outwardly undecided on Kavanaugh's fate late Thursday. After the hearing, moderate Senators Susan Collins, Army, and Lisa Murkowski, R.A.K., as well as Senators Joe Manchin, D.W.V., and Jeff Flake, Aras, huddled to discuss the nomination, Fox News confirmed. The Fab Progressive Four talked for approximately 30 minutes before a GOP conference meeting Thursday evening ahead of Friday's planned Judiciary Committee vote on whether to recommend Kavanaugh's confirmation to the full Senate. Fox News is reporting that the first floor vote to debate the nomination is scheduled for Saturday, a vote to end floor debate and overcome a filibuster would be Monday, with the confirmation vote on Tuesday. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.